guys. So uh, people were asking me to pick up the Honor 7 because uh, they were recommending it as a very nice handset here for the money. So I managed to grab one in the uh, Black Friday sale. It had uh, a very nice offer on this handset. It could pick one up for 200 and uh, as we can see here I have set it up and been using the device and I wanted to do a little video checking out what uh, it's all about whether it's worth buying or not uh, you can see from first look here the device is very nicely built uh, it's coming with same kind of premium build quality you'll find on some uh, phones which are two or three times more in terms of the price uh, however, they have made the front kind of uh, plasticky still. You can see uh, a little bit of plastic here on the front, uh, which is a bit strange really. You'd think they'd go all the way uh, when it comes to the premium build quality, but still very happy with the uh, metallic here. You can see uh, we do have as well the fingerprint sensor on the back, which uh, apparently has multiple functions, so you can use it to... Uh, scroll the notification shade down as well as up uh, which is pretty cool you can also use it uh, to go back to the home screen as well or take shots so I think uh, it's similar to the one on the Nexus 6P and they work straight away as you can see uh, no real issues finding your fingerprint uh, so very well integrated here with the fingerprint sensor. Uh, we're getting uh, two speaker grills, but only one of them produces sound. So uh, I have found when gaming on it that uh, I might cover this up and the sound disappears. Uh, the display on this is IPS. Uh, it's a Neo IPS display, so very nice colours. Uh, it competes uh, quite well with other 4HD displays, but then again, doesn't really set itself apart, really. Uh, but I think you can uh, customize the display temperature if you want. You can have it a little bit more uh, warmer or cooler. I just keep it on the default, I think, for here. Uh, we're also obviously running this uh, EMUI. Uh, which I used to give a pass, but I think nowadays coming from the Nexus 6P, uh, I think uh, I'd probably prefer like more stock ROM here. There are rumours that Huawei might be uh, lightening the EMUI up when Marshmallow comes on the device in February. Hopefully they will, you know, put on like a, a very nice stock build like they've got on the Nexus 6P uh, to, uh, you know, make this similar. Because I think that while EMUI has some nice uh, touches to it, it just feels a bit weird compared to, you know, your stock marshmallow. Uh, but it does have some nice features nevertheless, like, uh, for example, uh, you can quickly cast your screen here. Uh, you also have these smart actions such as uh, double tapping the screen to turn it on, which works most of the time. Uh, also, you have this uh, button here, which apparently you can use to take shots quite quick as well. Uh, so, if you just double tap it, you can see it takes a shot nice and fast. Uh, the UI of the camera, I've always uh, really thought that it's a quite nice UI. Uh, you also have a good food mode here, which apparently makes your food look nicer. Uh, and I have been taking some shots with this out and about uh, overall I'm quite impressed with the quality of the pictures can have a look at some of them here maybe uh, I might have to go into it a little bit so let's see here so we did do some uh, food pictures here and you can see it's quite a nice amount of detail on these uh, you know, I think uh, it's 20 megapixels, same as your Moto X Play, same Sony sensor apparently. So, you know, whichever phone you go for nowadays, you're getting a fantastic camera, I think. Uh, you can see some nice uh, indoor shots here, full of detail. 
so the camera performance is very good here but there's no optical image stabilization so there's a little bit of grain on the lower light shots but then again I thought it did quite well compared to its competitors uh, no 4k video recording unfortunately I would like to have seen that at this price I think but uh, I think that's maybe due to the Kirin 935 which is in the actual device and speaking of the actual specs we are getting a 2.0 I think a gigahertz processor which is the Kirin 935 and generally it pushes things along very nice and quick here you can see uh, going into stuff nice and fast I think the only real bottleneck that I've had with the device is the actual skin which sometimes can uh, slow down or like uh, be a bit jaggedy but maybe Marshmallow will fix that uh, also the uh, the gaming seems to be quite good which I wasn't expecting I've been hearing some things uh, people saying that the gaming is not very good on Kirin 935 uh, but we can just have a look here what I'm talking about so you can see we do have this one speaker here which you can cover up I wish they'd put two speakers there if they have two grills so by the way this is on the the max here setting so full on and remember the one plus X couldn't handle this but you can see very nice quick here and smooth as butter I think uh, the the uh, next Kieran chip uh, 950 should improve the graphics apparently uh, I think that's coming in the Mate 8 But the 935 shows that it's still got some nice oomph here. And you're not going to have many issues when it comes to the gaming. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, it does have the features you would expect in a modern phone. We do have fast charging, which is absolutely fantastic, uh, which gets your battery up nice and quick. Uh, I have been using this all day, and in terms of the battery life, I'd say it's uh, decent, you know, it gets, uh, I'd say you'd probably get um, about four hours screen on time. I probably had it on the performance mode actually today, so I might try the uh, the battery saving mode. But if we have a look, I started at about seven in the morning and it's nine now. Uh, so getting about five hours screen on time with nine minutes. Uh, so very nice decent here for the 3000 mAh battery uh, so yeah you know uh, what can I say about this this is a fantastic looking phone here when it comes to you know the price here I think the only thing which may scare people away is the overbearing user interface but then again you can put Google Now Launcher on there and jobs are good uh, so yeah uh, I think uh, it's well worth considering if you're looking at you know Zenfone 2 or some other handsets of this particular category. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.